guys welcome back to the channel um i want to sit here and put some things on the sled tonight on the part three of the build of the free ride sorry i've uh, been waiting on some things to get here so uh it's been a little bit but hopefully like i said this is a budget kind of build um we've done a little bit different scenario with this uh last time i was riding a uh, non-factory turbo so why not ride a factory turbo when there's a factory turbo to ride? So one of the things that uh, I do and a lot of the other guys do, and it doesn't require a whole lot of... Uh, money actually it's one of the free mods a couple things right here on the handlebars so on the handlebars here first thing i do is i remove the mountain grab bar i just take it off um, to me it just kind of one of those little cheater things um and really you don't need it and uh it, it makes you ride differently so the other thing that we do I know a lot of guys will move their kill switch down, but I just rotate it 180 degrees, move it down the handlebars away from uh, the grips, and then that way um, it's out of the way. And you don't accidentally hit it. So I don't run uh, hand guards on mine, so that's one of the things I do on every sled, and pretty much everybody in our group does the same. One thing that we have done is you can drill a little tiny hole over on the one side. That way if water gets in there, it uh, drains out so it doesn't freeze. So I know some guys have had that issue too. So um, those are a couple things that I do just on setup right out of the box. And uh, a couple other things we'll be covering tonight. Vents. These things, I am going to tell you, Skidoo is going to make a freaking crap load of money on vents. They're garbage. If you hit a tree, you're gonna poke a hole, suck crap in. So, uh, went with some extreme air vents that we'll be installing um, tonight. And then also, I got, I'm gonna try these new mountain grips out by uh, Skidoo. I've ran the ODI grips in the past, I really like them. Um, these seem a little bit grippier than the stock. And then, got Big old shout out to PKI. They do an awesome job on the brake reservoir. I went, I went with the red to kind of match things a little bit. So also I've been waiting and I finally got it. They had to order it. My extreme skid plate from Skidoo. Uh, went with lava red this time. Um, I think it's going to look freaking killer with uh, a little bit of lava red that's on the front and then in the rack. So we'll be installing that tonight. That had um, a little bit of a wait time for some reason is uh, the longest piece is going to be the the belly pan and putting the skid plate on this thing so hopefully uh, I can get it done and uh, all I know is it's a pain in the butt because the freaking springs suck so um, real quick to there you got that one there up underneath here you've got that right there that you got to do um, loosen up your air box so and then underneath here I didn't get that. there's two more Did you try all right for this piece uh, I'm gonna have to remove the hood to get down into the belly pan for the skid plate install um, we'll remove the pipe so t25 there 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 I do believe there's two right here, like there was on the old 850s uh, before they would the lightweight hood, and it's on both sides. So, um, up here on the dash, something a little different. These two are out. There's a little clip underneath, so you just kind of, and then just boom, pops up, slides out like it did before. So, there's the two clips right there you can see so pretty simple 
you can see down in there, I can see all the holes that I need to get to um, and put washers on. So I don't think you need to take the pipe out. Uh, this is going to be a little difficult, but I think we can still get to it. So anyway, um, there's mark, there's little dimples underneath here where you have to drill. So you do that and it uh, goes on pretty quick. Without taking the pipe off, you can get to all of the washers in there. Um, the one back here, I just reached my hand down through there and uh, just held the washer on. So saves you some time and that way you don't have to freaking pull those springs off down in there also. So honestly, it's uh, well worth well worth it. You can use a little magnet tool to help position that one right there and just push it on. And uh, if you got two people, much easier. Good plates installed. You got to drill that pop rivet out. Take that T25 out. Got to drill there and there. Four in the bottom. One over there. Put that T25 back in over there. And you're good to go. So pretty simple install. And uh, one thing I learned from this is I've always taken the pipe out and uh, don't need to take the pipe out. So that's a plus. And uh, if you just take a few seconds and have an extra set of hands, speeds it up a lot. Stream air vents. Um, Tom does a freaking amazing job on these. And uh, yep, they're spendy, but like he said in his video, you know, they're carbon fiber. And I think they look pretty slick. And so um, one thing he does, um, I'll just talk real quick about. So I pulled one side off. I am going to put some paper down in here while I drill the holes. So nothing falls down into, into this down there. Um, just a paper towel. That way I'll drill the holes, vacuum it all out, and then uh, put it on. There is another way that you can do it. He goes into it in his video. Um, you can actually take your air box out and then do it all. Prior experience, it's not worth it. So I will actually uh, just drill the holes and uh, vacuum them out. So, okay. So as you can tell, pretty messy. And uh, one thing I will say is, it does work pretty well. And I just start, drill a hole, put a rivet in it. Make sure and just kind of go crisscross from each other. Um, but if I pull, and I haven't done any silicone yet behind this and I haven't pop riveted them because as you can see, there's stuff in there. So I'll grab a vacuum and let me grab a light. Uh, So as you can see in there, there's particles. So I'll vacuum it out, take the rag out, and that side's done. So vacuumed it all out, and uh, I put a bead of just a little light silicone around the edge, and uh, we'll get ready to install these vents. And one thing that makes it nice, I use a cheap, I'm telling you, Harbor Freight, um, can't remember what I spent for it, but make sure you change out your tip up here because the pop rivets are a smaller diameter. Um, so otherwise I'll just suck it through. Hood's all back on. Vents are done. Turned out good. Thing, don't forget to tighten that. Your airbox screw. So, little pointer there. But anyway, well, I just got to throw the panel on or the gauges on and uh, hook that up. And then I think for this last thing, I'm going to throw the reservoir protector on. And honestly, guys, that's a must. Um, I've been out riding way too many times. And just in my group alone, you know, you go up to Togedy, nice weekend, hit a tree, just a branch, rips it off, and, and you're screwed for the trip unless the unless you can find one somewhere so it's a cheap cheap um, piece that you can add on that protects that I know there's other manufacturers in fact I think Skidoo even came out with one this year 
which is crazy to me. I go through this every year. Um, you pay a crap load of money for the free ride for the Summit X Turbo, and they can't throw a $50, $60 reservoir protector on these mountain sleds. Just, it's it's nuts. I, I know they make their money in their parts, but good grief. Anyway, so that's my next. Let me finish this up. Okay, well, last piece for this episode is this. The TKI brake reservoir protector. So, simple, two eight millimeters, reattach. So, too bad the red doesn't match. If anybody wants a red TKI brake reservoir, leave a comment down below. I'll make a good deal on it. Um, don't like it, doesn't match. Um, but for right now, until I give me something else to order, probably just order me a black one or see what you can do. But yeah, it doesn't, it does not go together. Um, so anyway, that's a bummer. But anyway, make sure that you use the links below um, for discounts, whatnot. Uh, Divi and Inc. are, like I said in our first video, they are freaking, I don't know, they're knocking it out of the park this year for our wraps. And there's a link below for those guys. You'll get a discount, um, depending on the wrap you pick is your discount. Um, so anyway, like I said, subscribe, like, refer your friends, guys, and hopefully you enjoy the video. If there's something you want to see, leave a comment below. If there's something that, you know, we could do, improve, whatever, let us know that also. So anyway, uh, we're just out here having fun, and that's what we do is we like to ride. And, well, stay tuned next episode next part of this um, project build hopefully we'll have um, some clutch parts stay tuned for that and uh, show you what we're going to do there um, waiting for those parts so that I can throw on some tunage and yeah we'll see what we can do with that uh, I'm not gonna go crazy wild with it but uh, do want to give it a little bit more um, power underneath the hood and uh, increase that elevation a little bit so anyway ride hard have fun return safe guys as always